Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're doing one of those, you know, two hour, three hour, four hour makeup transformation videos. I see this going around a lot on YouTube but with a little twist on it because you know the whole point of these videos is to take as much time as you need and sometimes when you're filming regular makeup videos for YouTube you feel a need to rush because you know you gotta deal with a battery that might die. Maybe you're doing your makeup before you have to go somewhere but this ties into social distancing because we can't go anywhere. So we're literally getting ready to do absolutely nothing. So then you really can take all the time in the world that you need. So we're gonna do a little skincare. We're gonna do a little skin prep. We're gonna do some hair because this video is sponsored by Maven. And we're gonna do some makeup. You know, just sit down, play in makeup, look look a little bit better than we've been looking during social distance. I put a bra on, see, look, self-care. Um, so yeah, if you guys just wanna see all of that, then just stay tuned. I put a hole through my mattress with a hot comb for this video, but I'm not gonna let it get to me because self-care. Self-care is allowing yourself to make mistakes. So starting out with skincare, um, this is the Milky Collection from Pixie I was telling you guys about. It's like a six step process. So I figured I would show you on camera today how it works. So this is the first one, which is technically their Milky Makeup Remover. Um, I'm obviously going to put makeup on later on, but you know, just getting rid of anything that might still be around. I can't find any cotton pads, so I'm just gonna use this sheet today. Hold that up and then just pop down and go over my face. Take away some of the, whenever I put a wig on, like my forehead always gets shiny. Step two is their Milky Cleanser. I treat cleanser like face masks sometimes because even if you do the 60 second rule, like really? It, and, and think about it, when you start spending like $30 for a cleanser, you just leave it on for 60, nope. I rub that in like it's a face mask. Might leave it on for five minutes. Might leave it on for 15 minutes. Okay, step three is their Milky Peel Exfoliate and Smooth. Okay, exfoliate and smooth so you'll put this on and then you'll see like little balls start building up that's supposed to be the exfoliation so you put it on um rub it in and then rinse it off And while I leave that on my face, I'm doing some teeth care. These are the Crest White Strips. Here comes the lisp. Um, I've been doing this for years. Basically, I just put these on like twice a week. I don't remember if you're supposed to floss before you do this or after, but I already put it on, so I guess I'll be doing that after. So I'm just leave this on and then take this off and wash my face. Now I can put a lip mask on because I'm pretty sure I don't have to wash anything else off my face. Step four is basically toner. I'm sure you guys have heard of their Glow Tonic and their Rose Tonic, it's called. This one is the Milky one, so I'm just going to go over with this. Step five, the Milky Serum looks like this it's weird because some of them have a scent but like not this you would think they would all have the same I don't know milk scent but they don't they have different ones which okay and the final step is their milky lotion which is very big so I'm just going to Okay, so moving on to my hair. You guys probably saw the little hair sticking out when I had the bonnet on anyway, but your girl has honey blonde, ash blonde, 
chocolate i don't i honestly don't know what you would call this type of blonde but you see it on my head it was a process getting here um i will either have the clips play after i finish talking or while i'm talking but i'm sure you guys have heard of the hair company maven and um, basically how they worked before, they've actually reached out before, before they were doing it where you buy your bundles and then you go have a Maven stylist um, install them for you with a sew-in. You guys know I just got into the whole hair thing like last year, so I, that seemed a lot for me <laughs> to get the sew-ins, but they reached out recently and they were like, hey, we've added a new thing to our company where now we're offering wigs. Like you can buy full, full on wigs and then go have a Maven hairstylist um, install the wig for you which is what I was supposed to do but you know the way social distancing got us right now that wasn't possible you know I can't go out just to get a wig installed you should be going out just for you know like essential things so we had to switch it up a little bit and it was like okay well um as you'll see in the in the clips the hair itself came black and it was like well what if we did something else so you guys know Bemi my girl Bemi um Help me out when I was in a spot. I saw a picture and I liked the 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 blonde in the picture. So I was like, hey, can you color this black wig to kind of resemble that one? And that is what she did. So I have the clips of her taking it from a black wig to this whatever color blonde that this is right now.
And that is how we got here. So I had to install it myself. And y'all know I literally only glued down a wig myself before once. This is literally the second time I've ever done it. But it's on my head right you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do your own self maintenance during this time so it's on my head we're gonna move forward but hopefully uh you know one day in the future i can show you like the actual experience of going through buying and then having a professional someone who actually knows what they're doing install the wig i'm actually gonna do my makeup first and then i'll come back and you know do whatever like last minute touches i have to the wig so let's go so for my makeup today i wanted to try the fox trend that's going around basically it's a type of makeup technique that's supposed to you know lift your eye shape give you like that feline type of eye you're supposed to have like straight brows for it but listen i knew when i got the microblading done there would just be certain trends with your eyebrows that i just can't hop on to if it deals with a lot of brow manipulation and i'm okay with that you know i got them microbladed to my actual brow shape so i still went with the brow shape that i naturally have and we're just gonna hope cross our fingers that it still works out um it's supposed to be really easy to do so i'm going to take this shade from the jackie Aina palette and just use it all over my entire lid and literally just pat it in and this is where it can go really really left i saw shania do this so fingers crossed that i was paying attention so you want to start creating a wing that goes up pretty high up like almost touching your brow i'm using the shade edges to do this and bring it in, not all the way in, I believe. And then kind of just buff it out with a black liner so that it looks like eyeliner. I switched to a flat but denser brush to really buff out the top. Are they even? No, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna move on to a primer. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay with this new All Nighter face primer in my T-zone. and a little hydro grip everywhere else. Throw on that Fenty for concealer today. I'm gonna use the black opal foundation because I want to try it with a concealer that I actually like. If you guys saw my re Ooh, no, that's not the right one. Here it is. Uh, my recent video on black opal, so and use a little less. And I'll give it a little set with this Urban Decay Powder. And then also from Black Opal, uh, this powder, just a little teeny tiny bit. My Uma Stick for contour. Fenty bronzer as soon as I can find it. Found it 
it was on the floor of course like where else would it be because it just would not be me if i didn't drop something on the floor this minted blush and i think i might throw grapefruit from laura on top of it we'll see yeah i'm a, ooh, no that's a lot i'm gonna throw a little bit this is what that shade looks like i'm gonna throw a little bit Oh, after I dust off that baking powder, I go over my face with the Pat McGrath powder. Just gives you like that filtered look at the end. So taking down my hair, this is what it looks like. I wanted, I didn't want anything like too dramatic, like 26 inch or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure this is just 20 inches. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just gonna straighten it. Yeah, it was already pretty straight, so I'm just gonna give it a couple once overs. Just to get the, you know, like the little dips from where it was tied with the hair tie out. I did also take a hot comb to the top of this. I didn't film that part because I literally had to get up and go to like the floor length mirror because y'all know I should not be trusted around sharp objects, hot objects, but no person was injured during the process of installing this wig. No person. Uh, I think the only thing I have left to do is my lip. I'm gonna use hot chocolate lit. Throw in a little light lipstick. And top that off with passion fruit from Uma Beauty. we're done with the whole uh, transformation process. It is 11.36. I started filming at 9 a.m. and if we are counting the actual wig install process, then that means I started around like eight something. So it took about almost four hours to finish, but hey, it's almost noon and I am now ready to do absolutely nothing. Or I'm ready to go take the trash. I'm ready to go watch Netflix. I'll be doing it looking and feeling cute. Self-care. Um, I'm digging the hair color. It just always takes me some time to get used to my hair being any other color besides jet black. Um, my brother described it best as like little Kim 90s type of blonde, which I'm here for that. Okay, if I ever have to do some type of like Beyonce recreation or inspired look, I've got the wig for it. So shout out to Maven because you know, I wouldn't have it without them. And also shout out to them for letting me, you know, switch up how the project was supposed to go and doing something else that I think, you know, still turned out pretty cool using my friend who you guys should absolutely check her out if you need any wig coloring if you need a wig she does them as well so of course i will leave the information for this wig all those specifications because y'all know like i don't know what to say with any of that um so the specs on this wig the anything you need to know about maven and all of bemi's social media is in the description down below for you guys to check out all the makeup that is on my face and the skincare that i used will be linked in the description down below i'm going to make sure that i link it um and yeah that is that is pretty much it let me know in the comments down below you know like what you're doing for self-care or for maintenance because like it's 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 rough out here <laughs> for anyone who does rely on you know salons and waxers and petties and all that stuff like how you're doing it from home and, you know, i think i did like a decent job i feel better you know got a cute little makeup i actually like this fox eye look um I'm not sure how well I did it, but I like the, you know, like elongated uh, uh, 
eyeliner and stuff like that. Um, like I said, it'll take me some time to get used to this hair color, but I like it better than the other blonde that I tried. I think that was just like too blonde. You know, I feel like this is a nice blonde for my skin tone. I feel like it took the, the coloring like really well for it to be a, a wig that was black and now it's whatever type of blonde that this is. Y'all tell me in the comments down below. And like, it still feels soft. You know, you can still run your hands through it. Um, stuff like that. And, um, with the skincare, I've been trying that for ever since I showed it to you guys in that other video. And I think for, um, you know, that being a collection like that and it's affordable, it's from Pixie, it's easily accessible. Well, it's it's available in Target and stuff like that. So as far as accessibility goes, like it's, it's there in Target. Um, so that's good. The Crest white strips, that is not new. I've been showing you guys that I've been using that for years. Um, and yeah, you know, that, those are just a few little things that I did today to just do something other than the nothing that I've been doing during social distancing, other than, you know, filming videos for YouTube. So let me know what you guys have been doing down below. Let me know how you've been handling your maintenance. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.